Human trafficking is a multi-billion dollar industry. It's happening worldwide, including right here in the Coachella Valley. In tonight's iTeam investigation, Trafficked and Terrified, hear firsthand from a woman forced into the sex trade for more than a decade and how a county task force is now working to rescue and save the lives of those who have fallen victim to human trafficking. Trafficking is the exploitation of another human being through force, fraud, fear, or coercion. One of those elements have to be there. According to investigator Wolf, these girls selling sex on Figueroa Street in LA are mostly trafficked by a pimp. We're gonna look at what it says and look for identifiers of pimping. Scrolling through the graphic pages of sex for sale in the Coachella Valley, the Riverside County Anti-Human Trafficking Task Force allowed us to see some of the ways they try to identify a victim of human trafficking. Long time travel, so she'll go with you somewhere. Yes. So She's everything. The pictures can give off clues, like if a girl is branded with a specific tattoo. And that's how you know this person has a pimp, this person belongs to somebody. I didn't have any money, and there was this man that came up to me, and we started going out, and I considered him to be my boyfriend. And then things changed. He started saying that we would make money together. Explain how it went from boyfriend to hey, we can make some money, you know, if you had sex with men. He said if, if I loved him, that I would do anything for him. And so I, I did it, and all the money went to, to him. I didn't have any control of the money. I didn't have control of myself. And, and He'd started to dress you differently. Looking how? Um, I mean, I had to wear like short skirts, um, shirts that showed my cleavage, and my hair. He 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 he, you know, brushed my hair and told me how my hair was going to be. And so he used fear and also violence. Yeah, he physically, emotionally, and sexually abused me, mm. and I had to make a quota. And if I didn't make that quota, I would get beat. Karina was sexually trafficked on the streets of Riverside for 14 years. She had lost custody of her kids. She had no contact with family. She says she was vulnerable and dependent on her boyfriend turned pimp. And how much money would be made per hour? I made about $100 an hour. And sometimes clients would give me 1000 Were you told to be open to anything anybody wanted to do? Mm -hmm. Did you go somewhere else in your head? I mean, how do you do? I had to separate myself and who I am. Um, I had to go to a, a place where, you know, I couldn't think about it. You're the perfect age. See, you have a lot of years to get a lot of money. Anything that you would like, you can begin to have it. I was looking at your pictures. You are very sexy. Let me help you. That's audio from an actual case worked by the task force of a pimp named Lyric trying to entice a young woman into the sex trade. He promises a better life full of luxury items. Brand new heels, brand new clothes, a new apartment, you know what I'm saying, a new car. What we really have in Riverside County is massage parlors. And I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. The task force shows us websites where actual customers who got more than a massage left a review giving the next potential client a full description of what services will be provided. That's enough for the team to start investigating. Yeah, are you guys open today? Yeah. Yeah, how much is it for 30 minutes? We went along for the ride to watch while investigator Wolf did some surveillance of a massage parlor here in the valley. A car shows up, a single white, oftentimes it's a white male, um, just like this, who shows up by themselves and going. So now you have this guy who's inside, but we also know there's another customer inside. Again, looking for any sign of human trafficking. You see when you're looking at the different types of where it could happen, like labor trafficking, sex trafficking, all these different things, you have to look at the culture behind it. Human trafficking is a $150 billion industry. It is the second largest criminal industry in the world behind drug dealing, and it's the fastest growing. 
In the Coachella Valley, investigators say their cases include runaways, massage parlors, internet prostitution, which usually all has ties to sex and labor trafficking. We all have a niche in law enforcement. This is mine, and um, I, I think these people need a voice. I think they need somebody who is there to help them. Now, Karina, the victim featured in this story, escaped her pimp one night while he was sleeping and checked herself into a rehab where she was able to utilize resources and get her life back on track. If you or someone you know is being trafficked, there is a way out and help is available. Head to our website, KESQ.com, for a list of resources.